up? It's Kristen Alexis. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a video where I'm going to share with you the things I consider when I buy dresses from Fashion Nova. I have been purchasing from there for probably the better part of a year. I feel like I'm an expert because as you have probably seen if you've been following my channel for a while, I buy a lot of stuff from their website. So I have just kind of learned the things that work for me, the fabrics I like, and the fabrics I'm not that big of a fan of. And I just want to share this stuff with you guys because I get a lot of questions. I try to answer them all, but I feel like a video is just more effective. So let's go ahead and walk through the website. I'm going to share with you what I think. I think this will be really helpful, but if you have other questions, put them in the comment section because I'm really, really good about answering all of my comments. So with that, let's go ahead and walk through their website and see what I think think you need to think about when you buy dresses from Fashion Nova. Okay, so basically when I go to Fashion Nova's website, I always start at the dresses section and essentially they organize their dresses typically with having the new dresses marked with the new box in the top left hand corner and you can typically just kind of go through and scan through the website and see what looks good but when I'm deciding what I really want I have a strategy that I use when I purchase dresses from Fashion Nova and I think it's really important to kind of think about that because you don't want to not think about it and get stuff home and be very disappointed so essentially I'll just kind of go through like some of the styles that you see and there's pretty much like a typical category that you kind of see when you're going through their dresses. Some stuff deviates from that, but at the end of the day, it all kind of has a simple checklist that I like to follow because it just makes it easier. So with that, we can kind of look like, for example, at this first dress, it's really, really cute, but it does hit a little bit higher on the leg. So as you can see, it hits pretty high, like in the middle of the thigh, and it is also low cut. So for me, I don't really like to purchase dresses that are too short from there because what I found is that when I wear the dress, it is just too short for me when I'm out and I always feel very uncomfortable because it starts to hike. So I typically stay away from dresses like that just because I'm not the comfortablest when I wear, I don't even know if that's the word, I don't feel most comfortable when I wear stuff like that. Also, they do a lot of dresses that have the slit on the leg where it hits higher in the thigh. I also am not a fan of those just because I've had it where sometimes they hike and it is a little bit annoying. Another thing to pay attention to when you're buying dresses is a lot of the dresses from Fashion Nova, and let's actually click all the way in. A lot of the dresses are made where you can't wear a bra. So as you can see, this one, you if you wear a bra, your bra is going to be very, very noticeable. So that's something to definitely consider is a lot of times the models are wearing either pasties or something to cover up their nipple so that you cannot see it. And you definitely want to consider that because for me, I'm just really, I, I will do that sometimes, but I'm not a huge fan of having to do it all the time. So definitely keep that in mind when you're purchasing dresses as well. When you look at some of these dresses, and let's actually click into this one too, a lot of the dresses are very, very low cut. This is not a bad thing, but it's definitely something to keep in mind because that can be very uncomfortable when you're out and you're trying to wear these dresses and you always have to be, you know, making sure that you're covering yourself up and nothing is about to pop out because you really can't wear a bra with this one as well, like I told you before. So you're going to have to stick with pasties and make sure everything is in the right place. I mean, honestly, a lot of the dresses are made for women who have either a uh, really good breasts or smaller breast size, I shouldn't say good, but a smaller breast size, or a lot of times women with implants, their breasts tend to sit like this model here. So it's easier for them to wear dresses like that. So just keep that in mind. Um, also, you know, when I'm looking at these things, sometimes some of the dresses, if they do hit in the thigh and I really like it, I will actually round up. I actually really like this dress. I might order this one. But um, I would probably round my size up. I typically wear a medium and I probably could fit this in a medium. But I think just because it hits higher in the thigh and I don't want it to be rising on me, I probably would round and go a little bit longer or a bigger size so that I feel most comfortable when I wear that. I think that's kind of a lot of the things that I typically like to think about when it comes to the way that it's cut. Now, when it comes to the fabric, there's also some certain fabrics that I try to stay away from from Fashion Nova. And let me just see if I can find one. I really like these. These are super cute. But again, you got to remember, you can't wear a bra with something like this. 
you're going to have to go with the pasty. So definitely keep that in mind if you've got larger breasts because that can be frustrating as you don't want your bra to show, you know, or you don't want to have to be stuck in a jacket. I, re I do like the suede dresses that they have like this um, as we we're kind of transitioning into material. This is really cute. And I think that it holds up, you know, pretty well for the material that they purchased that's a suede. But I also like this. This is super cute. This would be perfect for like maternity. <laughs> but no, um, there's a material here that I'm, I actually stay away from from their website now. Only because I purchased a bunch of dresses in this material. And when I wore them, they just really didn't hold up for like multiple wears like now when I go to wear it out my boyfriend's like no nah, that just looks too just not the best so I'm, I feel like it's like their cotton dresses not cotton like this but they've got this one material and I'm gonna find it because I really want to show you guys that I honestly I'm trying to stay away from and I did just buy a dress I'll actually insert a clip where you can see a clip of a dress that I bought which is probably one exception that I've made to this material but I would just say if you are gonna purchase that material, make sure you're rounding your size up because I just feel like when they wash and they dry, they don't really, it doesn't really hold up and, and last the way that you may, you know, expect some of your other things to last. I don't wanna sound like I'm bashing this particular material, but at the same time, just for me, what I found is I'm, I probably won't continue to wear it or I only wear it like when I'm like trying to still be a little bit cute, but I really am not too focused on where I'm going and trying to like stunt on anybody. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of this particular company. I've spent so much money with them and it's definitely my go-to because it's inexpensive. It comes very quickly and it is super trendy. So for me, it just works out well because where I live, I just can't go to the mall and pick up stuff like this. But with that, I just want to say thank you so much. If you want to see more hauls, fashion videos or inspirational content that will help you be a beautiful boss you definitely want to subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with what I'm talking about but with that I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go I love you and I will see you next time bye bye Baby, I can't